Hi this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel in this video we will see about item potency in API we will see the following topics in this video what is item potency why do we need it how to make an api item potent and which systems does not need an item potency item potency refers to the property where in making the same request more than once will yield the same outcome with no modifications made to the resource or the server other than those made at the time of the first call this property is particularly important in distributed systems where network failures retries and other issues can lead to duplicate requests let's see this with an example a user trying to pay a bill from the mobile app a mobile app makes the api call to the billing service and the billing service calls other payment service let's assume this payment service made all the necessary processing and directed the money from the user account but the acknowledgement to the billing service failed since the billing service didn't receive the acknowledgement the billing service retries the payment api service call again and if the payment api service is not item potent then the payment service again detects the money from the user bank account If the payment service is item potent then the service understand this request is already processed and sends the success response to the billing service without again detecting money from the user account with this example we can understand the item potency is important in the distributed system where retries are used to make the system more resilient there can be different failure point while calling an api the failure can occur even before reaching the api This might be because of the network issue. In this case, retrying is fine. It is not going to introduce any issue because the API haven't received the request during the initial try itself. The error can occur while processing the request. In this case, the request might be processed completely or not. So retrying this error may introduce double processing, which is not desired if your service is payment service. Finally, the error can occur while the service tries to acknowledge the request by sending a response. In this case, the request is processed successfully, so retrying the request will surely result in double processing. Let's see item potency of different HTTP methods commonly used in RESTful API. First, we will see about the GET endpoint, which is used to retrieve the data. calling the get method multiple time won't change the state of the server since this is just read only operation which is used to retrieve the data from the server next we will see about the post endpoint which is used to create a new resource on the server post requests are not item potent sending the same post request multiple times may result in the creation of multiple resources for example let's take the user sends the post method to create a post server gets the request and processes this information in the database if the same request is sent again because of retry or mistakenly sent by the ui application then for the same message another new entry is created in the database here the state of the server got changed so the post is not item potent we will see how to make post request item potent later in this video Next is the delete method which is used to delete the resource from the server delete requests are item potent sending the same delete request multiple times has the same effect as sending it once it removes the resource from the server and the subsequent delete request will return a 404 not found which is fine considering the state of the server not got changed next is the put method which is used to update or replace an existing resource on the server with the new data provided in the request put requests are item potent the resource state on the server will remain the same if the identical put request is sent repeatedly with the same contents it replaces the entire resource for example here the first request contains the data to be updated and the server updates the data in the database if the same request is retried again the entire request is updated again here the server replaces the entire resource so no matter how many times the same request is retried there is no change in the server state next is the patch method which is used to apply partial modifications to the resource patch requests are not inherently item potent the item potency of patch requests depend on how the server handles them if applying the same patch multiple times results in the same resource state then it is item potent 
let's see a request where the patch request is not item potent here the request does not contain the entire resource it only contains the comments and the URI as the post ID as the path param the server picks the request and adds this comment to the post when this request is retried the server treats it as new request and adds this comment again as another new comment to the post so the post has two comments both are the same comment so retrying this particular request changes the state of the server every time so here this patch method request is not item potent now we will see how to make an api item potent so here the client sends the post request in addition to the payload the web application also generates and sends a unique uuid in the header as the item potency key when the server gets this request it checks if the key is present in the cache here we will use a fast memory cache like redis in this case the item potency key is not present in the redis table so the server processes this request and then it adds this key to the redis table and the value for this entry is the response which the server created for this request and optionally you can store the hash of the request as a request hash you can set the time to live for this entry here i set it as one day so after one day of creation of this record this entry will be automatically deleted you can fine tune this as per your needs then the response is sent to the client now if the same request reaches the server again because of retry then the server checks the item potency key present in the header in the redis cache here we already have this key in the redis cache you can optionally convert the incoming request to hash and check if it is matching with the request hash if it matches then the server skip processing of this request again and send the response which is already saved to the entry in the redis cache item potency is a desirable property in many distributed systems particularly in those where request may retry due to network failures or issues however there are certain systems or scenarios where item potency may not be strictly necessary or may not be the primary concern because implementing a item potency in a api or in a system brings its own complexity so this complexity might not be needed for some of the systems among the systems that does not record the item potency are read only systems systems that only perform read operations and don't modify data don't necessarily need to be item potent so the read only systems no need to be item potent for example a system that serves static content or provides read only access to the database may not require item potency next as a logging and monitoring system systems responsible for logging events or monitoring metrics may not require item potency for every operation while it is beneficial for consistency occasional duplicates or out of order events may not be significantly impact the overall functionality and then sometimes it may even necessary to not make this logging and monitoring systems item potent by that way we can really understand what really happens when we try to debug this particular system next caching systems caching systems often deal with read operations and store frequently accessed data to improve performance i have a complete video tutorial on caching i have provided the link of that in the description while item potency can be beneficial in cache and validation mechanisms it is not strictly necessary to have that complexity in the cache retrieval operations analytical systems Systems used for data analysis, reporting, or business intelligence may tolerate non-item potent operations, especially if the focus is on analyzing historical data rather than the real-time consistency. So the last one is the fire and forget systems, like notification systems. Here, this system may employ a fire and forget pattern, where requests are sent without waiting for a response or confirmations. In such cases item potency might not be a primary concern as the system does not rely on the outcome of individual events. Thanks for watching this video. For more technical videos on system design and computer science topics, you can subscribe to this channel if you find this video helpful. Share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.